We're learning new details about Catherine, the Princess of Wales's health battle. It's been revealed she had spent two weeks planning and writing the announcement of her cancer diagnosis. We've also learned more on why she shared the news, wanting to protect uh, her kids from chatter about it at school and to protect her relationship with the public. The King has also been offering his own support to his daughter-in-law. Uh, let's go live to Daily Mirror Associate Editor Russell Myers. Good morning to you, Russell. The King reportedly hosted a private lunch with Catherine just before the video dropped. What do we know so far? Yeah, we're hearing some new details. Good morning, guys. And uh, it's a very interesting, this sort of bond that we've uh, seen over the last few years of uh, the King and the Princess of Wales has absolutely flourished. And certainly when, you know, Kate and William stepped into the role of Prince and Princess of Wales, I think there was an awful lot of support, of course, from the King, who'd previously held the title as his son has now. But he obviously wants them to flourish. And I think that, uh, you know, now they're both going through their own cancer battles. Of course, the King has been undergoing treatment uh, for the last few weeks and now after the, this weekend we knew that uh, or the, the announcement from the Princess of Wales that she's undergoing her cancer battle so you know the two of them have come together we understand that they had a lunch on the Thursday just before Kate gave her uh, announcement to the world and I think that when you look at their relationship it's certainly something that will, they will um, no doubt bond over over the next few weeks and months. Okay we now know that Kate wrote her speech alone she closed the door on the firm for this is it surprising she didn't want any assistance from her aides or the family or anyone? Well, I suppose from outsider looking in, you know, you would be surprised. You'd think there'd be a big team of, uh, you know, aides and speechwriters helping her write that uh, incredible, incredibly moving speech that she wrote. I mean, absolute bravery at its most. And certainly, um, in my understanding is from speaking at the palace, they said, no, she wanted to write it herself. She wanted to make it very, very personal. And indeed it was. I mean, you couldn't help be moved by watching her statement on Friday night here in the UK and around the world. And I think that when you look at her words, she wanted it to not only be personal, but she wanted to reach out to people who are suffering from cancer as well. And I thought that that was absolutely key to her statement uh, over the weekend. Russell, I'm looking to get a little bit of an understanding about how the video dropped. It was early Saturday morning, Australian time, Friday evening, your time. Only because it speaks to the relationship between the press and Kensington Palace. Do you, meaning the press, learn about the video when it drops on Instagram or do you get a heads up? No, I think, you know, it's uh, give you a bit of a flavour of it because uh, this is an absolutely monumental statement, historic statement as well, and everybody would have been uh, shocked by hearing the words that the Princess of Wales said. But, you know, it's the trusted royal correspondents. We're called the Royal Rota, the people who work on the national newspapers or the national broadcasters. There are some foreign correspondents who have uh, their own separate group as well. But, no, we were given a heads up. We were given uh, sort of an indication that there would be a statement coming, and then we had uh, a meeting with Kensington Palace. And I think the reason why that is, and uh, it's not favouritism at all, it's to make sure that we were delivering the message in the right way. Because, you know, as I said, the Princess of Wales certainly wanted to, for this to be a personal statement from her. And I think that, uh, you know, looking back from the coverage across the board, um, everybody did it justice. And I think that's exactly what the Palace wanted to happen. But it speaks right. to the importance of it, doesn't it, that they wanted to, to get it right and that, that was Catherine's wishes. I think it's very important. No, absolutely. I mean, you, you, you look at the, the concept of her making this speech. Um, she said that she didn't want it to just be written word, a written statement. She thought that would have been too sort of standoffish. And, and you can get it because you know, she has been sort of out of action for quite a while. She's not only one of the most popular royals, she's one of the most popular women in the world. I mean, certainly one of the most photographed and spoken about women in the world. And, uh, and I think that when you look at that, uh, that um, video that she put out, it was very personal. She's talking mm. about her children. She's talking about how she broke it to the children. And I think that it really needed to uh, to be handled in the right and sensitive manner. And uh, unfortunately, mm. I think we can uh, we can all agree that that happened. Absolutely. And Russell, next time you know something two hours ahead of everybody else, if you could just call Kylie <laughs> at home, she hates to be she hates to be behind everything. I uh, would appreciate that. Twenty four hours a day, she'll accept reverse charges if that's an yeah, issue. That's, that's uh, when, when do we expect to see yeah, uh, Kate and the King next up? Well, certainly Kate, uh, William and the children are going to take a, a bit of a time off over, over Easter. Yeah. And, that, and certainly that was, again, why the Princess of Wales wanted to deliver the statement over the weekend because the children have broken up from school. So they're going to be in their Norfolk home and taking a few weeks off. Now, I understand that the King is sort of gearing up to try and lead the royal family on uh, the Easter service 
church uh, walks. And, you know, listen, he's still um, out, of the, out of the picture largely. He isn't back to, to duties by any stretch. But I think that speaks about the sort of unity uh, that he wants to purvey and certainly show that the, the royal family is on a solid footing, even though he's taking a leave of absence. And, of course, the Princess of Wales is as well now. Yeah, tumultuous times. But mm. uh, um, it was just the most shocking and, and brave video over the weekend and I think put everyone back in their place as we deserve to be. Thank you, Russell.